Hi everyone, I'm Timothy Jordan. And I'm Natalie Villalobos. And we're here at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing 2017. In Orlando, Florida. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we're going to talk to some people about their experience here at the conference. Awesome, I'm really excited about it. Me too. We're sitting here with Avni Shah, a VP of Product Management at Google. Hi, Avni. Hi, thanks for having me. <laughs> thanks for being here. So we're at Grace Hopper, the celebration of women in computing, and you just had a panel about product management, and it was awesome. I was hoping we could share like a little taste of that with everybody out there on the internet. <laughs> product management is a unique position because I think it differs from, it could differ from the PM sitting across the hall from you, from the PM down the hall. And I remember for my, my first few months at Google, Google Groups was going through this major redesign. And the team was working all weekend for this launch that was coming up on Monday. And it was Sunday afternoon, and the team was looking pretty tired. And the PM, Adrian, in the afternoon at some point left for about 45 minutes. And he came back and he had these like armloads of sandwiches, because clearly the team hadn't eaten in a really long time. And so he's handing out these sandwiches, and I hear this engineer at his desk from behind me say, Oh, so that's what PMs do. Oh. <laughs> they go to Togo's or Subway <laughs> and get sandwiches. And what stuck with me then, which was really interesting and I've learned since, is that, I mean, clearly we don't just deliver sandwiches, but PMs kind of have to do whatever it takes, whether it's keeping the team happy and fed or planning roadmaps or hiring people or setting a vision or, you know, kind of the more typical PM type things. Basically doing whatever you need to do to be successful. Yep. Tell us a little bit about what it's like to be here at the conference. It is incredible. So last year was my first year at Grace Hopper and I did not know what to expect. It's like just seeing the masses of women here and how they, just like this palpable energy in the air that's just kind of incredible. And people speaking about very, very different domains of expertise. So like there are panels on artificial intelligence and chip design, it's just, it's kind of all over the place. And just seeing people connecting with each other and being able to learn and having a community of people that are here. It's just, it's kind of amazing. It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you think it's valuable for men to be here? And if so, why? Absolutely. And I, it's great. <laughs> yeah, thank you for being here. <laughs> I think it's great. I think it's great on both sides. I think on the one side, it's great for men to hear what women go through and just to like be a part of the conversation. Also be able to maybe even contribute in their own way. Um, for women, I think it's really valuable to see that they have allies across the table. If we're really going to change the culture of how women are seen in computing, it kind of has to be from everybody. We can't do it from just us, and so having the male allies, as you said, I think is pretty critical to the journey. So seeing like a thousand men here, it just reinforces that the change is going to happen from both sides. Yeah. And I think Grace Hopper is going to continue to grow. I think even though this is our biggest year yet, I think more, as more and more women come into tech, we're going to see more and more women participating in Grace Hopper. And Grace Hopper has been happening, I think, Nina Borg Institute's been around for about, I think, 30 years. And I think Grace Hopper has been around for maybe a little bit less. And so I think it humbly started from 500. So to go from 500 to like almost 20,000, and I feel like we're just getting started in a lot of ways, feels really exciting and really invigorating too. You know, another thing that I've noticed is I've heard you talk a lot about visibility of women in technology and how that's so important for other women to enter into technology and to succeed in technology. Uh, I think one of the things that I've realized at this conference is also really important for male allies to be at a conference like this and see just like the enormous amount of women leaders and people that we can follow in technology as well. And so that's been just really exciting to go to all these sessions I'm super excited about and to, to have it be not always people that just look like me. And that's a little bit of what it was like to be here at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing 2017. Natalie, is there anything else you'd like to tell our audience before we go? Definitely come to Grace Hopper next year. There's going to be even more incredible women in computing. And if you want to get more involved in Women Tech Makers, go to womentechmakers.com and join our membership community. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Natalie. No problem. See you all next time. Thanks for tuning in to one of our developer show segments from somewhere in the world. If you'd like to catch some of our prior episodes, check them out right over here.